So here we go. Ben McDonald, Lynn Rollins with you. A gorgeous evening for some Saturday night baseball here in Baton Rouge. RPM, so gravity just does not affect it if it stays up like that in the zone. He goes high and hard and gets Davis swinging for a 1-2-3 inning, including the final strikeout. Kling in his last five games, 11 for 15, and he'll add to that. This is down and appears. Yes, it is. It's on the grass in left center field. Kling rounds first and steams into second base. Paxton Kling. The first pitch he hits high. He hits it deep. You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Dylan Cruz sends one up into the night and into the right field bleachers. Five home, make it four home runs for Cruz this year. And Tommy White rips one on the line. That ball is off the left center field wall. White is digging for second base and White makes it. Tommy White. Base hits in the first inning. They've all been for extra bases and Brady, Brady Neal is plunked and he is not feeling well. That one hurt. His back foot is on the deepest part of the line. This one is sent high and deep to center field. Let's see if the ballpark can hold it. It cannot. Pucker up and kiss another one goodbye. Three home runs in the series for Jones. Five on the season. And he has been blistering the baseball. Cruz is backpedaling in a hurry. He turns one way. He turns the other and he runs it down. Very nicely done. That is... Don't confuse me, please. Well, 11. Do not, don't even start. Steel strikes out looking. I'll Thank call you. you. All right. A good inning for Ty Floyd, aided by a great catch in center field by Cruz and a couple of strikeouts stuff here in mid-March. Thompson backing up, calls for it. The shortstop's got it. And 40 home runs combined over the last two years. And Dylan Cruz, after... A two-run homer in the first. Two with those 27 home runs last year. And he's hit by a pitch again. Brady Neal was plunked last time. His first pitch swinging. That's bobbled by the first baseman. He has time to recover. The pitcher, Westbrooks, is covering. This has hit a mile in the air. Bortak backing up, backing up, backing up. He can go no farther. It's another home run for Jared Jones. And for the fourth time over the last two nights, you can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Wow. In this, the 15th game, make it 28, sports fans. Way, way back into the right field bleachers. Pucker up one more time and kiss that baby goodbye. Brayden Jobert has just banged his fourth home run, and LSU is just punishing the baseball tonight. Wow. Rips a little sore, one or the other. But Jared Jones is on a four consecutive at bat home run streak. Eight state governors have come from Sample. A couple of Supreme Court justices, a Secretary of State. Four Rhodes Scholars. Nepal shovels it over to second for one. The relay in time at first base. Nice. That is smooth with all about eight O's in the word. There is yes. Morgan is aboard. Cruz chops another one up the middle. His third base hit of the game. A home run and a pair of bouncers up the middle. Yeah. And White lines one deep to right field. This is back, back, back. Pucker up for the fifth time tonight. Tommy White is two for two. This guy is stronger than a garlic farm. Four home runs for Tommy White. And he's wearing those right field bleachers out, man. They're going to have to replace them after the well, year. I mean, everybody is. And Jones the ninth. How's that for a pick for three newcomers? Well, it was the number one freshman class in the country. Jay Johnson brought in. Fielder and Jordan Thompson has really turned the corner this year from a defensive standpoint. Well, here's an interesting scenario. 
And he's going off again. That time he can't find the breaking pitch. Ball four. Swing and a miss. Napolt goes down on strikes. Working to Bortak, who grounded out to third last time. And there's a call third strike as it rips the outside corner. The guy at the plate draws a walk. That's Salvo out of Seabrook Island, South Carolina. Ground ball smothered by Jones at first base. He was able to get that big body in front of it and just surround it. Looks like Joe Bear stayed at third. Jack Merrifield is now the shortstop. And I think Gidry moved over to second base from shortstop. And Beloso is at first base. He went back with the twister and it worked its way off the end of the bat. Let's see who's going to take charge here. It will be the center fielder Stevenson. And a very quick and efficient inning for Nate Eckenhausen in relief. That's a call third strike. Ganley worked it over the inside corner. Lined into right. That's down for a base hit. Malazzo with a clean single. In College Station. Merrifield goes down on strikes. The second one in the inning for Ganley. Just as easy as they can pull the ball. And as a hitter, when you figure that out, that's when you become really dangerous. That play by the second baseman pulls the first baseman off the bag. The out is made. Staten over to Klein, and we move forward. This is going to be a tough play. And no chance for Braden Joe Bear. So that'll be an infield hit on the little roller to the left side. Really good changeup. And it is. Well, a little foul ball. It appeared that ball might have been tipped as a foul, but apparently it was not. Malazzo made the tag, and this game is over.